hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we'll be doing this setup on this pipe and drape for a company that i worked with last year um and they wanted something fall theme this year for the um inside the building <laughs> sorry i draw a blank um so i made clusters and i've been doing this lately i've been doing clusters with um a quad attached to it already so i kind of have my length of the color along with the blending of it you guys know i love attaching um quad to quad of two different colors to blend to the next color so i've been kind of adding the quad already to that color knowing that i'm going to eventually add it anyway so it's just easier to just add it at home when i'm prepping just to save time um but the colors will be listed in the description box i can go over them really quickly um if i can remember so the color i have now that's the copper chrome and i believe i used that by qualitex and then the burgundy color is mocha by gmar inside crystal burgundy by tuftex the mint green color is um, empowerment by tuftex and I, I believe i stuffed it with eucalyptus by colisan but you can use like eucalyptus by sempertex colisan they all pretty much would give the same look and then the last color i want to say i did orange inside caramel brown yeah i think it was orange inside caramel brown i didn't want it to be too dark so i used the orange color just um i had a lot of that already and you know it's in a fall color and things like that so i did orange inside caramel brown caramel brown by colisan any orange again will work the floral which i love the floral you guys sorry you can't see it that well right now but i got um i purchased the floral from michael's i want to say michael's it was actually on sale at the time too um it was so full like one of them did a lot i didn't need a whole bunch of them and i think i bought the rest of them anywhere it was like nine of them that i had all together but just one of them the bunches was so full it was like that's all you needed so yeah so that cluster that i just attached that was a cluster of six balloons at the top the eight balloons at the bottom as you can see there's a fine difference between the eight and the six the six for me give me a more structured look versus the eight gives me a, a when i say structure more so like a square box like you can see clear defined lines going around the cluster of six balloons for the cluster of eight balloons there's a more more thickness to it and more rounded and i typically like to use those clusters in the middle of my garland i don't like to end my garland with a cluster of eight balloons um typically i like to keep them in the middle of it to you know quickly fill up the design um kind of thing if i use them at the end then I'm, I'm definitely adding a quad or something to it um just to give it a more structured look so like you see that cluster i just added was a cluster of six and a quad of four balloons because it sits on the floor and i'm just adding filling things out for me the primary colors for this was the caramel brown and the crystal burgundy those were my primary colors and then the mint green um, the mint green was really my accent color. As you can see, I used a little bit of it at the top. The copper was kind of like a, a secondary color in this particular thing. So caramel brown was my main color. Crystal burgundy was like my dark color. And dark color, but like secondary color. Um, yeah, crystal burgundy and, and copper mint was pretty much like my um secondary colors one was dark and one had more of an accent tone to it and the mint green was actually the accent and i kind of define my colors every time like this so when i'm inflating i don't inflate the same amount for all colors um there's always a color that's going to have less 
than the other colors because I always try to find out which color is my accent color, which color is my main color. If you're my main color, I'm going to inflate more of you at home. Um, and then you'll see that, con that color show up more in the design versus the accent color. Um, and I think that helps a lot. And, that, and of course, every time is not the same. One is based on what the client wants. So if the client really want pink and white is the accent, of course, then that's how I treat it. And then whatever color we add on after that, those will also be treated as like accent or secondary colors. As you can see, you guys, that floral was a lot. And that was just one bunch. And it did absolutely a lot for that, just the, that area. So only thing I didn't really like about this design is that I didn't push the top cluster, that caramel brown that's kind of peeping over the piping drape i wish i would have pushed it to the back a little bit more um so it kind of went behind the piping drape and not sitting on top of it and it's kind of hard to explain it without actually doing it but i'm sure you guys seen other designs i did when the clusters kind of push more to the back of it and not sitting in the front and that's that's the look i personally like um, but I'm just adding on my five inches. My five inches are sized down to about three or three and a half inches. I do use my Legenda when I side, when I inflate my balloons. I use my Legenda. I put it on 0 0.7 for double stuff balloons. And if it's a single stuff balloon, I use 0 0.6 because it's less pressure for single stuff. So, um, I use a, a lower amount for single stuff balloons. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm on. This is my last piece, and I decided to break it up and not do a big full piece because you know that's just what I'm feeling these days. <laughs> um, and as you see, the mint green is still my accent color, so I didn't put a lot in there. Um, I have like one choir right now, and I'm just adding in some colors. And most of the times, you guys, I just be adding in balloons. Oh, this is a prime example is what I mentioned about the caramel brown being behind the piping drape. As you see, the crystal burgundy is not sitting in front of it. It's pushed to the back of it. I like that look way more than like sitting in the front of it um personally so this is me making my ray point on the floor so the balloon's not moving too much and i did do it on the other side as well i just didn't put it i just didn't do it on camera um this is the clear gaff tape with 260 um i absolutely love it i have the black gaff tape as well they both work um the black gaff tape is definitely a little bit more stronger um i just like the clear sometimes so because it's not as visible or the transparent and i know some people struggle with the gaff tape but especially the transparent one with it <clears throat> ripping at the top you can always add extra at the top as well as i like to make sure that my rig point is directly under the balloon i'm using i'm not putting it to the right or to the left i'm putting it directly underneath so when i go to use that 260 to wrap it around the balloon it's not too much pressure being pulled um from one side to the other but this is pretty much the end you guys i used the rest of the balloons that i had i didn't inflate too much more and i hope you guys enjoy if you have any questions please leave it in the comments box i will see you in the next video bye